Welcome to Darun Yoga and uh, welcome Vanessa, thanks for joining us today. We'll look at Surya Namaskar B. Surya Namaskar B, the Sun Salute B, is the second Sun Salute we traditionally do in the Ashtanga Vinyasa Yoga. And in this system we're doing pretty much the same as we do in Sun Salute A, except we're adding the warriors and we're adding the Utkatasana, what some people call chairs pose in Samastiti, just simply standing. Yekam, the first position, there's 17 of them in this one. We're going to bend the knees and inhale, coming up, Utkatasana. Dwe, we're going to forward fold and bring the hands to the ground, straighten the legs, let everything drop down. For Trini, the third position, we're lengthening the spine, looking a little forward. While for Chatwari, we're stepping or jumping the feet back into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, we open up for Pancha, the fifth position. And Shat, we go back to downward facing dog. Sapta, we bring the right foot forward. The left heel will go down and we're going to come up to Warrior One, known as Virabhadrasana Ka. In Warrior One, we're going to get the hips as much as we can square forward, right? And for a lot of us, this is not possible, but work towards it. We're going to keep the shoulders down as much as possible and the gaze up towards the hand. Traditionally, this is one breath, but we're learning, so we're staying a little more, keeping the ribs in and the tailbone tucked down. After we finished our full inhale up, we take an exhale and go back down to Chaturanga, same as the fourth position. Inhale, we look up and we open up, right? Keeping length in the spine and the forehead relaxed. And then we go back into the downward facing dog. Gotta do the second side. So the left foot will come forward, the right heel will spin down. And we're gonna come up again to the warrior one. Another note on squaring the hips, one thing that may make it easier for some of us is having the left foot more to the left. If instead of having heel to inner arch, you have more heel to heel or even a little wider, so if you can't Vanessa step the foot a little yeah, to the left, it's going to be much easier to square the hip, a little easier to stay um, balanced as well. If it's possible, the gaze goes up, the ribs a little bit in, gorgeous, and then again exhaling, we go back down to the Chaturanga. Traditionally one breath, inhale, open up if you need to take two breaths of course, and exhale into the downward dog. After we do the right side and the left side, this is where we go ahead and rest for five breaths, right? Or breathe while we're in Adho Mukha Svanasana, the downward facing dog, keeping space for our shoulder blades, trying to external rotate the shoulders, wrap them in towards the body. Once we're done with our five breaths, we empty the breath, we look between the hands, we either step or jump the feet to the front, lengthen with our landing, and exhale into Uttanasana, forward fold. Bending the knees, we come into the Uttanasana. This is an inhale, because we're opening up, and then back to standing, Samastitihi, hands to the heart. Right. That's pretty much it. Those are our 17 poses. We're gonna look at it again, and I'll try to mention a little more again. Inhale, exhale, gaze, and some more names. Here we go, one more time. Bending the knees, Yekam, this is an inhale, the first position. Dwe, exhale, going into our second position, Uttanasana. Trini, inhale, this is our third position, Arda, Uttanasana. Chatwari, stepping or jumping into our fourth position, gaze forward, trying not to go too low with the shoulders. Inhale, opening our fifth position, Pancha. Shat, our sixth position, downward facing dog. Sapta, right foot forward, seventh position, warrior one. Ashto, eighth position, going back down, Chaturanga. Nava, inhale, opening up, ninth position. Tenth position, downward facing dog. Eleventh position, left foot forward, right heel down, slowly up to the warrior. 12th position, hands down, going into Chaturanga again, not going too low, just to elbow height, opening up, 13th position, Trayodisha. Chaturdisha, going back into downward facing dog. Just making sure you're breathing. If 
it's ever too fast, take extra breaths, it's okay. We're gonna go into our 15 position, pancha the shot, look between the hands, step or jump forward, lengthen and look forward, and then show the shot, forward fold, our 16th position is an exhale. Sapta the shot, 17th position, bending the knees for Utkatasana, and coming up to stand for Samastiti. That's our Surya Namaskar B, our Sun Salute B. And 17th position, every time we open up or come up to Warrior One, Upward Dog, or lifting to Utkatasana, always in the inhale. Every time we forward fold, Chaturanga, it's always an exhale. We always try to make sure that our shoulders and chaturanga don't collapse too much. You can always use your knees, right? You don't have to do the full chaturanga, making sure the shoulders are back. And breathing, it's a warm up for most of us. So, kind of taking it easy, right? Some of us have it really easy and just go right into it. Some of us need to modify as we go. We're gonna look at Surya Namaskar B one last time. This time we're just gonna practice it so you get the whole feeling of it and you can join us whenever you're ready. Here we go. for watching. Thank you Vanessa for practicing. See you soon. Namaste.